Hi all. Today we are going to look how to uninstall the Oracle 19C from the Windows. Uh, most of the people face this difficulty that once the Oracle is installed, it never shows into the control panel. So right now you can see that I have the Oracle 19C installed. Still, I'm not able to see Oracle uninstallation option into the control panel. So there is a no direct way to uninstall this Oracle. If you face the similar pro uh, similar issue, uh, let's see how to uninstall the Oracle in this situation. So first I'll close this because there's nothing like this. I have prepared a word document and you can find this work document below the video. Uh, to uninstall the Oracle, we have to first stop all the Oracle services. So once you install the Oracle in the background, there's a lot of Oracle services which keeps on running. So first we have to go into the task manager. We have to stop this Oracle services. Do control all delete. In, the ta in this task manager, go for the services and check whether there is any Oracle services sorted by the name so that all the Oracle services comes together. So I need to search it by O. So here you can see I have Oracle services, different Oracle services going on. Sometimes you may get some extra Oracle services as well, it depends. So right now I'm getting these, so I'm just removing We have to just stop them. This one is already stopped. So these are stopped now. Great. Also, you can get this option by Windows key pressing and services. Now, after once you have stopped, stopped all the Oracle services from task manager, we have to delete the Oracle files from registry. So just put Windows R and type reg edit. In reg edit, please refer to this document and very carefully delete the keys because reg edit is a very important component of your uh, system. If you delete any wrong registry, that would affect a lot on your system. Okay, sometimes it hangs, even hangs up your system. So be very careful while uh, changing any registry components. Please refer to this video or this word document. So first we have to go for HK local machine software and in Oracle. So HK local machine software and we have to find Oracle. Here it is. Once you have find that we have to delete these Okay, so I'll simply delete the folder. It's deleted. Now we have to go into HK local machine software, Windows 643 to node and Oracle. So we are already in HK local machine software. Now we have to find Windows 643.
here it is from here again we need to search for oracle Sometimes may be possible that it's already uninstalled, so you may not find Oracle. If it's already not present here, then you can skip that point. So I'm just looking into this. I don't think so it has any Oracle here. Okay. I will just check into here as well. Okay, so no Oracle is in, uh, Oracle keys present here, so I will skip this point. After that, we have to go into system, control set, services and Oracle. So, we'll go into local machine, system, current control set, services, and we need to find Oracle. So here are different Oracle services and we have to delete all these Oracle services. So I'll simply delete, select all these Be very careful that you only select Oracle, do not select anything else. All the Oracle services are deleted. Now we have to go into Oracle folder wherever you have installed the Oracle folder and we have to delete all those Oracle folder. Okay, so first I'll go into the drive where I have installed the Oracle. I have installed Oracle here in DB Home, so I will delete this DB Home. So my Oracle is Oracle folder is deleted. Now I will delete this Oracle folder as well, where all the installation files are there. So I'll just delete this Oracle folder. This is the main folder which needs to be deleted. The earlier one, DB Home, was just an extract folder for uh, where I have extracted the uh, installation file. So even you don't delete that, that's also fine. But this Oracle is necessary to delete, so we'll just delete this. So now that folder is also deleted. After that, we have to check in C location whether there is any Oracle file uh, or Oracle folder is created or not. So all these locations I have mentioned here. So we have to just go into these folder and check. So I'll just start with the C folder. Program ATX. no Oracle file is present in program files you can see one Oracle file is present here so I'll just need to delete this Oracle folder
after that i have to search for program files oracle this i have already deleted this i have already deleted 86 there is no oracle if present then please delete that then i have to go into program data microsoft windows what easy option i can do i can simply select this and in windows uh, i'll just directly type this location Not working. C program data. This is a hidden file. So if you are not finding this folder, please don't forget to unhide this folder. Uh, unhide the folder option. Go into this. Microsoft Windows Start menu. Microsoft. Windows start menu programs Oracle DB home is present just delete this and then to see users search for the whether there is an Oracle file or not so to see users check in your username whether there is an oracle file present or not if present please delete that if not it's fine so for me it's present so i'll just delete this So we have deleted from everywhere. Now we have to just empty the recycle bin. And before that we have to delete the temporary folder as well. Sometimes these are some uh, files that goes into the temporary folder. So just go into C temp. It's better to put Windows R and type C temp. You can simply type percent percent temp. So just control all and delete everything into the temporary folder. If for any particular folder it is uh, not allowing it to delete, simply you can skip this. So temp folders are deleted and the final step is we have to go into the recycle bin and we have to empty the recycle bin. So I'll just empty my recycle bin. So I've deleted everything from the recycle bin. So once you have done this, then your Oracle is uninstalled. Please remember one thing that you can see this SQL developer here. So this SQL developer is not part of Oracle 19C. It's a, this is some other tool uh, which we have installed on the top of Oracle 19C. So first we install Oracle 19C and then we install Oracle SQL developer. So this is part of separate package. So uh, this is not a part of 19C. It's just another software. You can simply delete it. So um, 
that will you that you will get into the control panel also this comes into the portable version so mine is a portable version so i just need to delete that sql developer to remove the sql developer so this is how we have deleted our removed our oracle 19c